What's cracking guys and we back with another food video but this time I actually won't be eating any food today. Um, I'll be uh, doing a little bit of a tier list. Um, if you've ever popped into my Twitch channel, check it out. Uh, I sometimes like to go on a bit of a rant. Uh, mainly because I like to order in some food, you know, maybe once a week. And normally when I order in some food, there's normally an issue. But not all takeaway food is bad. Some of it is awesome, some of it's great. And we're going to list it here today. Now this is Australian takeaways, so they may be a little bit different from where you are. Uh, there might be a, 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 a takeaway that you've never heard of. Um, I'll try to put some pictures of what they, they make when I go through them. That way you guys can um, be like, uh, maybe this is like something that, that you have back at where you are, whether it be Europe, America, uh, um, South America, Asia, anyway. Um, I'll be going through all of them. There are, will be, there are some that I haven't actually personally tried myself. So I'll, be, I'll put them just in the, uh, the, uh, the never been category. Um, in fact, I'll actually switch over now. Uh, okay, so let's start with the little categories we've got up here. So first of all, we've got uh, world class. That, like, that's the piece, to, piece de resistance when it comes to takeaway food. Uh, it's got to be my my, my um, judgment is based on quality of food. How good is it? Uh, value for money? Like it, like it does. It doesn't have to be a cheap uh, to be takeaway. It can be expensive food. But um, if it's good and it's worth that money, that's great. That's that's awesome. You know what I mean? Uh, quality, value, um, and yeah, just past experiences, uh, what type of foods they have there. These all kind of get into it. But if it's at the top tier, it's in world class. Next, we have solid choice. That one speaks for itself. It's, a, it's one you go to uh, every time and every time you get something good. You know what I mean? It's, it's not the best of the best, but you get something that you'll enjoy and you're not going to be pissed off or like something isn't, something isn't going to fuck up basically. Uh, mostly good. It's like, it's mostly good. Sometimes you've had some bad experiences or, I, or I've had some bad experiences. So uh, that's a little mostly good. We got hit or miss, which means like sometimes it can be world-class or sometimes it can be hot garbage. Um, but you know, but you have to, you have to juggle whether it's worth it or not. Uh, next one's meh. That's pretty understandable. It's pretty meh. Nobody cares. Then we have hot garbage, which is obviously bottom tier. The food's bad. Uh, it's not worth the money. Don't go there. Even if it's f f f not, even if you went to a bar and it's 4 a.m. Don't go there. Because one of these I've gone to at 4 a.m. and uh, some are good, some are bad. We'll, we'll go through those experiences. And of course, the last one is never been. So there are some of these Australian takeaway places that I actually haven't been to. Um, they're not uh, worldwide. Uh, they're not worldwide, obviously. They're not um, statewide. So not not all of these are in. Melbourne, basically. Now, let's uh, start for the first one. Uh, it is Sandwich Chefs, which uh, is pretty exp explanatory. I'll put a picture like up here of the food. Um, you, it's a sandwich place. Uh, you'll go there. It's normally in food courts. Uh, you'll put maybe there's like a roast beef or something like that. And you, you choose the, the meats. I feel yeah. this one to me, I'm, I'm put, putting that in meh. The, it's it's a little overpriced. The the meat's been in there in the front in front of the area. The, what do you call it? The Bay Marie. It's been in the Bay Marie or that area. It's been there for most of the day. It's not fresh. It's not nice. It, yeah, and it's just not well priced. It, it, I've got a lot to go through. Let's let's, let's roll through these. Um, talking about rolling through things, let's go with rolled. Now rolled is a uh, Vietnamese um, franchise, so it, you'll get your banh mi's. You'll get um, the little cold rolls. Um, pictures up there. Um, roll, roll solid. Uh, I don't, I don't mind. I, I wouldn't say it's a solid choice. I would say most. I'll put it in mostly good. Um, I've had better barn mees from other places, absolutely. Um, but I'm, it's, it's not bad. The price is okay. The barn mees. Uh, have what you want. If you want chicken, you know, you want pork, you want any of that, you want tofu. It's good, you know what I mean? It's high. And they, they have a pretty good selection of cold rolls. Um, uh, yeah, solid. 
Um, there's gonna be a couple of these on here. There's a, this one's a sushi sushi. Um, I mean, it should be the same everywhere, really. His picture of some some sushi from sushi sushi. Uh, I, I've been there a couple of times. They, they they make good sushi. Like it's very basic. You know, the, the storefront's got the, the rolls in the front. You got the teriyaki chicken. You got whatever. Um, this one's I'm gonna put in there. It, it uh, yeah, it's I'm not I can't put it mostly good because it, I've been there and I've done tasteless sushi before. Uh, let's move on. Dominoes. Everyone has Dominoes. Uh, I would think everywhere has Dominoes. Not everyone has Dominoes. Uh, I'm pretty sure everywhere has Dominoes. I don't know. Someone correct me if I'm wrong, but I think Dominoes is pretty pretty around the world. Uh, now this one's a hard one for me because value wise. Domino's is like, there's no other pizza place that's nearly close to it. Maybe there's a couple others. But like value wise, you can get three pizzas, garlic bread, drink, a side for the price of like maybe one and a half pizzas at a, at a good pizza shop. <laughs> so like, it's hard for me to put this. I'll be honest, though I've had some problems with Domino's, I'm going to put Domino's in this because like sometimes you can get a really good Domino's. One time, I got Domino's and they, they were supposed to put like aioli on it. They didn't have aioli, so they just put on what other, they put a different sauce on. They put on fucking barbecue. It's like they, they, those sauces aren't the same, and you didn't even call me to ask me if I wanted a different sauce. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Sorry, Liam, this isn't about ranting. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna put I'm gonna put Domino's in hit or miss. Let's let's go. Guzman Y Gomez is a Mexican restaurant that's uh, solid, pretty solid. Um, I'm going to put this one mostly good. Uh, me and Tonya get food from me all the time, mainly because it's around the corner. <laughs> I like Mexican food. I'm a big fan of burritos, love tacos, all that jazz. Um, and they're, they're, they're like, they're, they're good. You know what I mean? They're not great. They're not the best burritos. Um, it's not the most uh, filled burritos, but like, it's pretty good for the price. And they, they do good chips and all that, like solid choice, mostly good. No, nope, not solid choice, mostly good. Uh, next one, okay, Pizza Hut. If this was um, me when I was eight years old, this would have been a world class. <laughs> um, Pizza Hut had the all you can eat. You'd go here after playing soccer, or cricket or something like that. You know, you do it on a Saturday and you, the parents would take you here and you get all you can eat and you eat pizza till you throw up and you'd make uh, spiders with with the, with the Coke and ice cream. Um, okay, but the thing is, I'm not eating anymore. <laughs> um, the pizzas you actually get in the all you can eat are like three flavors. No, the, 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 the pizza is like, the, the dough to topping ratio was way too high in the dough side. It's not it's not hit or miss. It's not me, it's hot garbage. Pizza Hut, hot garbage now. Um, don't at me, just get Domino's. I just, yeah. <laughs> I might get some flag for that one. Um, Carl's Jr. I know, I've never actually been to Carl's Jr. They only opened up recently in the past, like maybe six months here in Australia. I haven't actually eaten here. Um, I don't really care to. I'm sure there's other places. I mean, if you, you tell me Carl's Jr. is great, maybe, maybe, maybe I should try it out, but I have never, never have. Uh, next one is Cold Rock Ice Creamery. Um, I'm gonna have to put this in mostly good. Oh, uh, you know what? Oh, this is a hard one. What is it, and man, no, it's... I'm doing mostly good. Okay, let me explain what it is first. <laughs> I'm already arguing myself before explaining to you what it is. Uh, Cold Rock Ice Creamery is the, the is that Cold Stone, I think what they, they call it. They have the ice cream, you choose your toppings, your, your Skittles, your M&Ms, your, your marshmallows, whatever, and they just like smash it on the on the Cold Stone and then they hand it to you. Um, I, I, this would be in like solid choice, but I, I last time I was there, I, I'm pretty sure it's really expensive. And all you are mashing like, basic bitch ice cream. Um, it's not I mean artisan ice cream, it's just basic ice cream with like, like I said, M&M's and Skittles, like that's gonna cost like 50 cents. You know what I mean? But they'll charge you like a dollar, two dollars a topping, like each one, like, 
I'm going to put this at mostly good. It could have been better, but you know, no. Uh, next is Rice Workshop. I've never actually been here. I think it's Japanese food, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, you get yourself like a little bento box or something like that. I've never actually been there though. Sumo Salad. This one is interesting because th they did the, um, it's what it is, it's salads. But they, they were doing expensive salads before they were cool. You know what I mean? Like you could, like a lot of places opened up in the last like five years that way you just, you know, you, people are wanting salads now for takeaway. I mean, it's crazy, right? Salads for takeaway, but you know, sometimes you don't want to pretend like you're healthy. Um, despite the fact they, they, you know, the dressing, they, they just destroy it with the dressing sometimes. Anyway, um, sumo salad, I'm going to go with the hit or miss. I had this once, it was okay, um, but it's, it's expensive for what it is, and um, it's a salad. Like, I, I mean, I like a good Caesar salad as much as the next person, but well, let's be honest here, this is a takeaway. List. Papa Rich. I've had Papa Rich is good. I've never actually been there myself. Unfortunately, I need to. Next, we have Sushi Hub. I'm going to put that at mostly good. Sushi Hub is a good solid um, sushi place. It has uh, a lot of uh, variants. No, a lot of choice. There's a lot of choice at Sushi Hub. The, the one in the city has got a sushi train attached to it as well, which is pretty sick. Uh, they do this cool like little sushi sandwiches as well. Um, yeah, it's got a lot. Of, it's not just like that basic sushi store. It's it's a little bit of like a level above that, and yet the prices are still okay. So we're, we're keeping it there. Next one, uh, Mad Max. Mad Max is also Mexican. Um, I've only eaten here a couple times. The last time I ate there uh, was a few years ago, but they had a challenge to eat a one kilo burrito and I was able to finish it and you got a little luchador uh, mask, which I don't think I have anymore because it, it looks stupid. Um, if I can find a picture, I'll put it up, but I don't hold your breath. There's nothing there, I'm sorry. I don't know where the picture is. Still, hopefully I got deleted from the internet. <laughs> um, but in terms of like the, the burrito itself, like th this is this is um yeah, this is man. There's nothing special about the burrito. Um, it's more expensive than Guzman, Guzman like Gomez. I'm pretty sure. Um, yeah, I feel like they do too much rides, and that's a deal breaker for me. Okay, quickly, I need. To, I'm not blasting through these at all. Uh, KFC, world class. Don't at me. Fried chicken. <laughs> Will you get off the toilet tomorrow? Probably not, but it's it's fried chicken. I love Wicked Wings. I love fried chicken, end of story. That is it. Next, we got technically fried chicken in schnitz, schnitzels, uh, breaded chicken. I've had schnitz once. It was very meh. I had a wrap, it was, it was not great. My friend had a burger, it wasn't great. Chips, boring, move on. Let's try to sub, let's, let's speed around this a little bit. Subway, okay, I can't. Subway, uh, this maybe some flack. Some people don't like Subway. I think Subway is a solid choice. You know what I mean? Um, I, I know in America, uh, I, I, I think Subway's got, got a bad rap. I don't know how fresh this stuff is. In Australia, I feel like the Subway's a little, like maybe not all the meats are fresh. Like I wouldn't, I wouldn't go for a meatball sub unless it's like 4 a.m. in the morning. Like I've, I've done a couple of those with the, with the meatball sub because they're like, I love meatballs, but like they're questionable. <laughs> but I feel like everything else, the chicken is is fine. Uh, the the steak, uh, I haven't even had the falafel. Maybe it's good, I don't know. Um, but I, I eat in Subway all the time. I'm perfectly happy with it. They got a bunch of sauces. Um, the, the, the vegetables, whatever, the salad is, it seems fresh. I don't know, it's illusion of fresh. I trust them too much, but anyway, let's leave it here, solid choice. Uh, this itchy, I don't know if it's itchy sushi, it's kind of cut off, or it's just high sushi, I've never been. Uh, we're gonna skip that one, salsas. So, ooh, this is so close to be solid choice, but I have to give it a hit or miss. I like salsa, yeah, no, nope, mostly good. <laughs> uh, hit or miss, that's okay. This one's hard for me. 
because Solstice... No, we don't hear this. Solstice was great. When I was back in Adelaide, I used to go to Solstice all the time. They used to do $2 taco Tuesdays. You get a chicken taco with guac, and it was delicious. And I used to get fucking a six of those. Downing some soft tacos. Number one, if you do if you do hard shell, you're a psychopath. Because those you, you bite into it, and it's gone everywhere, everywhere. You're getting tacos everywhere. You're wearing the taco. Um, but yes, Salsa's has delicious chips. They're like, I love Salsa's chips. They've got great seasoning on them. They're doing a little bit of the crinkle cut. I don't really mind that. But the, the, the seasoning is the bomb. Uh, you can get a chicken block burrito that's delicious as well. Um, but the last couple of times it has not been filled, which is why I put it a hit on this because it is all star in a burrito when you get it good, but lately has been a bit a piss poor. Might be the one I'm just going to. Mr. Burger, never been. Alibaba, never been. No, they do kebabs, obviously they're, they're burgers. Donut King. Donut King, yes, I love donuts, uh, but there's not really why you go for Donut King. So, um, here in Australia, I don't know if, actually I don't know if Donut King has a bigger franchise, but Donut King is a place where you, they have donuts in the front, but people kind of go there for the for the hot dog. You know what I mean? Uh, you get the, the hot dog and the thick shake for like five, six bucks. Um, and, and sometimes like they'll have an offer where they give you like some cinnamon donuts with it. I had the one with the kind little, little tiny cinnamon donuts. Oh, bomb. Donut King, uh, solid choice. If I see a Donut King in, in where I'm going, I'll, I'll probably eat there. Um, New Zealand Naturals and Ice Cream Place, I've never been to, unfortunately. Pie Face are meh pies. They're just pies with faces on them, but you go anywhere in Melbourne, like a, any bakery that's like 20 minutes out of the city, and it, it shits on Pie Face. Like, absolutely shits on it. So, yeah. Um, I eat La Porchetta. Um, La Pochetta is another pizza place, kind of Italian, I think they also do like pastas and stuff like that. They're like kind of restaurant, kind of takeaway. Um, I'm going hit or miss. No, I'm going mostly good. Let's be honest there. La Pochetta is actually not too bad. Um, they make good pizzas, they're, they're above like Domino's and Pizza Hut when it comes to um, the pizzas. Like, they're, they're just, they're, they're a little bit more effort put into them. You can get, you know, they got some good bases. Um, it's made well, it's cooked properly. Yeah, it's mostly good. Um, grilled, I think it's grilled's a solid choice. In Australia, grilled is like a healthy, healthy burger um, joint where you'll, you know, you'll get your cool like artisan burgers, but they're, you know, they're supposed to be like cooked fresh and like the, the, the bread's not supposed to be too sugary or whatever. Um, you can get wheat, you can get rye, you know what I mean? Like it's, it's just got the illusion of are actually healthy and I fall for that illusion every time. I like grilled. Um, you can get sweet potato fries, some zucchini fries, like they, it's good. Uh, I recommend if you're looking for a little takeaway that makes you feel like you're feeling a bit healthy and but you're still having a burger, I would go grilled. Number one, but also big watch out. They do these low carb buns. They're like pieces of paper on top of your, your burger. I wouldn't I wouldn't touch them with a 10 foot pole. Um, I'm gonna leave Hungry Jacks till a bit later. Um, with, with Mickey D's and we can, we can fight about that in a bit. Uh, Red Rooster, um, meh. Uh, I, I was, like, I, Red Rooster's the type of place, um, it's kind of like the, the, your fish and chips store. Uh, no, it's like your chicken shop, sorry, fish, it's not fish and chips. It's like your chicken shop. You know, you've got your, you cook chickens and then you got your chips and you got everything else in, in between, but it's like franchised and maybe like kind of like little, you know, they, they have little different things, uh, here and there about it. Um, it's, yeah, meh, like, the, the chickens, meh. I don't buy whole chickens from a rooster, I never have, so let's leave that there. Oliver's, uh, I think it's a health place, but I, there isn't one in Melbourne, or I haven't seen one here. A hog's breath is a... S mostly good. I find it mostly good. Hog's breath is just like that, um, pub, but it, it's like a pub dinner, but it's, 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 it's kind of like TGI's. Um, TGI's actually isn't on this list, despite the fact there's a pl plenty of them in, in Australia. But it's kind of like a TGI's. You'll get your steak, you'll get, um, they do like good surf and turfs, they got the curly fries, that kind of stuff. Uh, they're, they're pretty, I, I, th I think they're solid. I think they're pretty good. They actually, also, a lot of the times they'll have like a 50% off lunch and you can get a steak for like, so cheap. You can get a surf and turf for lunch for so cheap. 
Um, yeah, that's why it's mostly good. <laughs> um, Zombrero's solid choice. Personally, I think this is the best um, Mexican in terms of actually getting like a burrito or like. Um, actually, I don't think I've actually had a taco from Zombrero's, but if they're, if they're anything like the burritos, the burritos are good. Um, they're flavorsome and they're, they're well filled. They're, out of all the um, burrito places or Mexican places, I think they fill their burritos the most. So Umbreras is also kind of like a, a subway place, but more like it's more upper tier. So it's like a subway, but you do a few burritos. So you choose all the ingredients you want in your burrito. And um, yeah, I think Umbreras is pretty good. Um, next, Krispy Kremes, world class. Donuts, that's it. I'm not even, we're not even talking about that. That's that's world class. If there was like above world class, I'd put it there. Um, Lord of the Fries. I've only eaten here once. This is, I'm going to put it in mostly good because people seem to like Lord of the Fries. I'm going to be a sheep on this one. Um, Lord of the Fries is kind of like your normal kind of takeaway place, but I think everything's either vegetarian or everything's vegan. I, I'm not super sure. Um, I had a burger. I didn't even realize it wasn't an actual burger. So that's why it's here in mostly good. Um, oh, they also do like really good um, fries. Obviously, called Lord of the Fries. They do solid, like, you know, you get the toppings in your fries. All those little fancy toppings. Okay. Are we going to do this one? We're going to do now. We're going to leave these two to the end. <laughs> Nando's. Meh. Tonya's going to hate me. She loves Nando's. I, I really find Nando's really boring and ordinary. Um, because like I don't order full chickens at take at these kind of at franchise takeaway shops. I'll go to a chicken shop if I want a full chicken. Or I'll go to fucking Woolies and get myself a chicken. Woolies is a grocery store. I'll try. Um, yeah, they're they're okay. Like they, it's it's I'll I'll get a wrap from them and get some fries and I'll like chill and like the, the best thing about Nando's is the sauce. You can buy the sauce from the supermarket. You can buy the sauce anywhere. That's the best part of it. That's it. Done. End of. <laughs> Next, Noodle Box. Um, I'm going to put Noodle Box in. Hit or miss. Noodle Box is just kind of like your, your Chinese takeaway, but it's more franchised and they shove it in like the little cardboard box. Um, but mostly noodle dishes. Uh, I've had it a couple times. It's I. But like sometimes it's, uh, it's a little bit boring. Like, there's nothing special about Noodle Box, but it's better than meh. You know what I mean? Like, if it, if it was on offer, like, I'm like, I, I'm like I'll, I'll do a Noodle Box. You know what I mean? I don't have it often, but I'll do it. Okay, next one is a Porto's. This is the uh, the Pepsi to Coke's Nando's, but I actually love a Porto's more. I like how they do their, I like their sauce better. Also, like, their, their chicken, they're like, they grill the chicken. They, they, Porto's is a bit more into the burgers than a Nando's, because Nando's is kind of like, yeah, it's got burgers, it's got wraps, it's got pitas, and all that kind of stuff. Porto's is more like, these are burgers, it's Portuguese sauce, um, but they try to get like a little, kind of, ugh. this whole kind of like Bondi thing going with it, but Bondi sauce, I think it is, or Bondi burger or something, I don't know, but it's really good. I, 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 I like Porto's, I like this sauce. Okay, Royal Stacks, I've never had Royal Stacks, it's your American burgers, um, apparently it's a must have in Melbourne, uh, so don't, Trust my opinion on it. Trust other people's opinion. I haven't eaten there. Um, it's supposed to be good. And I, to be honest, I looked at some of these pictures. Um, it looks pretty good. <laughs> Pizza Cabers. Never eaten there before. I don't know why Subway's here again. Uh, I mean, I'm just going to... Can I chuck this out? I'm just going to leave this down here. Um, Pancake Parlor. This is an Adelaide staple. Uh, because Pancake Parlor in Adelaide is open 24-7. And if you've ever drunk, gotten shit-faced in Adelaide, there's always someone near there. You'll be like, hey guys, let's get some pancakes. And um, yes, absolutely, get some pancakes. It's the first time I ever had pancakes that had bacon and maple syrup on them. Delicious. Um, pancakes, salty or sweet, are great. And a uh, solid choice for me, anyway. Else. Okay, here we go, the big guns. We got Mickey D's and Hungry Jack's. Um, this one's a hot, you know what, nah, I'm, you know what, nah, Hungry Jacks. Hungry Jacks is, uh, just in case people don't know, Hungry Jacks is Burger King, they're the same thing basically, but in Australia it's called Hungry Jacks. Uh, Burger King tried to come here back in the day, but someone in Australia had already, uh, 
taken the name Burger King. So Burger King was like, for, uh, we'll just call it Hungry Jacks. We should make it Australian. Or something like that. Or they bought a franchise called Hungry Jacks. Either or, I forget. But that's why, but the, the same thing. They got the Whoppers. They got all that kind of stuff. I'm a, I like a Whopper. I like uh, onion fries. I like, they do uh, onion rings. Sorry, not onion fries. They do a lot of stuff for the onions, the crispy onions. And that, that just wins me over. I like, I like Hungry, Ch Hungry Jacks more than McDonald's. And I'm going to put McDonald's just for the fucking lols of it. Hot garbage. <laughs> Did I have McDonald's last week? Yeah, but I fucking hate myself. So <laughs> we're putting McDonald's and Pizza Hut in hot garbage. There we go. This video has already gone way too long. Holy shit, 25 minutes. Uh, oh God. Um, check me out on Twitch. Argue with me in the comments below. Like, subscribe to the channel, and thank you. Peace. Good night. This is my list. <laughs>